The humidity changed. In the morning it was 98. Yes. The fifth graders at Shady Grove Elementary School know the importance of the weather station at their school. I feel that I'm being really helpful, so I'm really proud of myself. Their weather station, one of nearly 200 in the CBS3 Live Neighborhood Network, collects information every few seconds. It's relayed to us here at CBS3, but the data is also available to the federal government. I think it's important for all of us to be partners in Homeland Security. It's our uh, community that we're protecting. Shady Grove is one of many locations with a Homeland Security certification. The weather stations are run by the company Weatherbug. We've partnered um, after September 11th with the Department of Homeland Security in a private uh, partnership with them where in the, in the case of an emergency, even if it's something like a train overturning with chlorine gas on it, not just in the case of a terrorist event, they can then have access to that data immediately. Which is critical for government officials to quickly make life-saving decisions. So they're relying on live data, live wind direction, as opposed to saying, well, 20 minutes ago at an airport that's in the southeast part of Philly, the wind was moving to the west. They know, hey, we've got a dozen weather stations in Center City. If something happens in Center City, we know exactly where to evacuate people. Meteorological field technician Brian Seely keeps all of the stations in optimum working condition. I'm usually uh, visiting three to four sites a day and traveling constantly all over.